さてそれではお時間となりましたので、Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to have another keynote speech by Professor of Keio University, Professor Jun Murai. Professor Murai, please. Good morning. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Murai, coming from the Keio University. Internet civilization, which just passed the pandemic, that is the title of my presentation. After I prepared this slide, there has been a new task, task that is assigned to me for digital policy. Now, this global pandemic is a historic event. It's been already nine months or ten months since the outbreak has been quite shocking. Everyone on this globe has experienced a major impact of this pandemic. There are many factors in the background. The infection itself is one, and the roles of government and the roles of the private sector are now being revisited and asked again. But one common thread here is for us, we have developed internet and this has been spread throughout the society. Honestly speaking, we were able to provide this internet in time for this severe pandemic. Internet is now available to almost all the people. If this was not available, what could have been the impact of this pandemic? It is almost inconceivable. Looking back, our digital technology has helped improve our livelihood, has been every part of our daily lives. And thanks to that, we were able to respond to this global pandemic. As I mentioned earlier, it's not just a matter of this country. It's been felt throughout the globe. Basically, the civilization it's been supported by mathematics, uh, the physics, the basic disciplines that helped us develop tools. Tools are used to build our society and culture. All in all, I refer to that as a civilization. So, that's the topic of internet civilization. After the pandemic, we have digital technologies and networks. They are the basis for building this new society. Now we are faced with this global pandemic. So that is why I selected this title of my presentation. So what has happened? We often talk about digital transformation. We feel in there has been digital transformation. Since 2000, I was asked to oversee the IT strategy, IT policies of the Japanese government. It has been two decades. Now it is the time for us to consider a new model, reviewing what we have been able to do for the past 20 years. And we, had, we just started the preparation last year in 2019. For the past 20 years, some things worked and others did not work in the area of digital transformation. Now we are at the timing of trying to plan for the next 20 years. The basic research of Internet, Unix operating system research, was 
beginning 50 years ago, and the World Wide Web started in 1989, 30 years ago. So 2019 is really the milestone. We had 20 years of IT policies, 50 years of the Internet, and then we had this COVID-19 in 2020. This was the additional challenge. On top of the challenge of rewriting our IT strategy, it is the time for us to review the past and also the time to design the future. So let us review what we have experienced in fighting COVID-19. We were told to stay home, to do most everything at home, to work, meaning that all the family members are together at home. And many things that they do had to be done on online, on internet. So what could have happened without internet? Still, with internet, there are many problems because we are located at different places. We have family members, mother, father, and children, and they are engaged in online tasks separately. They work separately. Or they go shopping on internet as well. We were not prepared for that. The whole structure of the family was not prepared for it. You may be working in the dining room. If mother and father working together, they have to mute the audio, not to interfere the other. The cat or dog may bark or mew. So there are, or many complaints. I heard some of those complaints. The children and my wife occupied the dining, so I had to go to the veranda or outside the room to be connected to do work. But in summertime, you may be outside the cool air conditioned room and you have to stay in heat. So there are so many difficulties for the past 10 months in the work itself. You won't go to the office and carry out whatever that you were doing in the office, meaning that companies have to enforce security, protect VPN connections. You say that we have to work from home, but you have to on some days, go to offices to be able to respond to the admissions. And many of the system engineers are asked to go to the office. So working outside in the heat, or maybe in the bathroom, there is not dedicated room for father's work. So what the fathers would do is to go outside. And they sometimes rent out a car, turn on the engine, make the interior cool without driving at all. Many actually fathers had to actually use the car sharing service to stay in the cool space, although they do not have to drive at all. Now, when you look at schools, of course, children have to receive online classes to stay connected to the school. But the schools were not ready for the online classes. Teachers never had experiences of providing online classes. 
when the education becomes online, we have to have a system, and that system was completely missing. In addition to that, it was quite difficult to use hospital services. Naturally, COVID-19 testing had to be provided by medical institutions. So many of the institutions were overwhelmed by the test. So many patients who are mildly ill can simply receive online diagnosis. This was not possible before because of the difficulties of regulations and procedures. And however, we were forced to do this. We thought this was a temporary change for the first diagnosis. Patient will be able to see doctors online without physically going to the hospitals. What I found difficult was not being able to go to music concert and different events, which I usually love very much. So we were not able to physically move, but think of musicians, performers, theater-related people. They completely lost their jobs because of the difficulty of maintaining the physical distance, social distance. So what they did is to try to perform online, but that's, that requires additional know-how and systems set up. So they get together to provide dancing lessons, yoga lessons online performing in a concert, in the online concert. But it took some time for them to be able to do this, to perform on the internet. Well, New York is famous for jazz, clubs, Broadway musicals, and so forth. And I have a friend in New York and asked him, uh, what is the state of New York? New York decided to lock down the city. And just one day after that, 600 cash has been delivered to the bank account of everyone in New York, depending on the tax payments done the year before. Of course, the amount of money that is given varied, but it was quite quick thanks to the infrastructure that had already been built. But in Japan, we were not able to organize a concert because of the lack of infrastructure. Mr. Endo will talk about the face recognition of NEC, which can be applied to music concert and so forth. Well, this is also a new challenge for us to tackle with. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the, the family members will stay at home and have three meals every day. The food can be delivered via internet. Would the chef be able to prepare meals that are ordered? Can they make the web page for consumers to order the food delivery? All of these challenges arise, but it's been 10 months already. Many things happened for almost the past one year. Sorry, the fonts are quite small, but Tokyo Institute of Technology presented the future scenario before the outbreak, outbreak of COVID. Toward 2030, 2040, um, 2100, you see there are multiple cars. If you take a look at the year 2040, this is about the family 
like they would in the future. This was predicted to happen in 20 years' time, although this is actually happening already. So when we talk about DX digital transformation, there has been enormous change we experienced for the past 10 months in this area. We, what we thought would be something far away in the future is already happening today. Now, uh, in terms of the uh, IB strategy, as I have already mentioned, from 2019 to the next uh, 20 years, the IT strategy was uh, being formulated by the government. And in this regard, uh, COVID-19 has come to the fore. We have uh, uh, gone through this experience, so this experience uh, must be leveraged and uh, direction has been adjusted and new uh, abilities uh, will be added. This is the uh, direction of the digital transformation of the government. What is referred to as uh, IT strategy, the uh, mechanism thereof uh, will be reviewed now. Basically, in 1999, uh, under the Obuji administration, uh, ID strategy headquarters was established. That's uh, 1999. So looking back, what happened? Uh, so uh, that was uh, uh, 2005 with Windows, uh, 1995 with Windows uh, 95, and there was a, uh, the RG earthquake, and then uh, Y2K, and uh, in 2001. Uh, it 9/11 uh, occurred. Uh, this was a major uh, turning point uh, for uh, the U.S. So this is uh, the historical background uh, in this period. In 2000, the uh, philosophy was established uh, in the IT Basic Law, as well as uh, the structure to mobilize this was established as well. This has been uh, the, uh, what has occurred in terms of ID strategy in Japan. Uh, the basic law, which is the philosophy in the year of 2000 uh, for Japan overall, uh, citizens uh, should be able to access uh, broad, uh, broadband uh, and uh, utilize IT. Uh, that was the uh, philosophy uh, laid down at that time. In, we need a mechanism to enable the stresses, and uh, that is the reason why IT headquarters was established uh, within the cabinet. So it is both the, the philosophy as well as the mechanism. And this was established in the year 2000. Uh, in the beginning years, a broadband internet uh, was uh, discussed, and uh, I'm going to refer to this uh, uh, later. And. Uh, uh, Against this backdrop, uh, cybersecurity was becoming a problem. Uh, good uh, technologies uh, will also will inevitably uh, be abused. Uh, there will be malicious utilization of such technology as well. Uh, once it becomes wider, it uh, will uh, emerge further. Uh, although we have been working this uh, in the ID headquarters in 2014, uh, the cybersecurity uh, basic law was established. And based on that, uh, NISC. Uh, the Cyber Security Security Center has been established, uh, which has become independent from the ID strategy headquarters. Two years later, we have uh, entered uh, the uh, age of uh, data. The uh, effective utilization is becoming very important uh, under uh, COVID-19. Uh, it uh, was also very important uh, as well. And uh, a new law was established to uh, utilize uh, data by the uh, government and the private sector. Basic time for advancement of uh, utilizing open data uh, was established for effective utilization. Headquarters was established once again. So I had uh, we had IT strategy headquarters and uh, a joint uh, uh, meeting was uh, uh, held. I guess this backdrop, uh, what uh, should we do now? The basic law uh, is to be reestablished uh, after, uh, for the first time in 20 years. And organization 
whether it is going to be uh, the new law to be established or the revision thereof uh, is not clear. Uh, but uh, we're also considering the establishment uh, of a digital agency. New organization uh, will be considered. Uh, the combination uh, thereof uh, is the mission uh, that uh, we must uh, fulfill uh, going forward. This is very important for everyone. And I'm sorry it's uh, such a busy chat, uh, but uh, I shall just highlight the major points. Uh, there are successes and uh, uh, mistakes. It isn't as if uh, someone has decided this. This is my personal view. Uh, there are things that I am not saying either. Uh, but uh, our first point is uh, broadband access. Uh, by 2005, uh, these are the initiatives uh, that were contemplated. In 2003, it has been completed. Uh, therefore, in terms of the infrastructure, uh, we have high standards in Japan. And uh, video uh, signals are coming from all households uh, out of the blue. Uh, from home, uh, it is not homebound, but rather it uh, is uh, uh, internet-bound traffic uh, in increased enormously, which was beyond everyone's expectations. No one was prepared for this. But uh, uh, video conferences have been um, implemented, uh, and there is a Netflix uh, streaming. Uh, there are some glitches, but uh, this is because of uh, old Wi-Fi or in uh, the uh, apartments uh, that it uh, could be uh, too low. Uh, but uh, it was not a major problem uh, because we have LTE. Mobile access was also very uh, high standard. Uh, so I think that uh, even now uh, we have a good infrastructure. We made a good start. And I think this can be uh, recognized as a success case. And after the success, uh, even if you have a highway, uh, we have to have good cuts. Uh, the utilization of data is becoming increasingly important. Uh, uh, around uh, 2005, uh, we have uh, started this. But I think this was a failure. Private sector service, in terms of business, I think has uh, reached a certain level because uh, there is increasing use. Uh, but uh, whether we have been comp competitive globally is the, uh, where we have uh, dissatisfaction. And I'm sure you'll agree with that. Overwhelmingly, what we, wasn't, what we weren't able to do is administrative service, whether it be healthcare and education, as well as uh, uh, the administrative uh, service for citizens uh, was uh, not uh, at the appropriate level. Uh, there was a lack of uh, uh, utilization. And I have heard that the most successful DX uh, in Japan, I ask everybody this question. No one can give me an answer uh, because they're talking about the uh, uh, digital wiring. But I believe that uh, significant achievement has been made. Uh, analog uh, terrestrial waves uh, in uh, 2011, it will stop. And uh, uh, this uh, was a uh, tremendous uh, achievement. And well, we have to keep this in mind. Because there is no book. Uh, I worked with this in Shimano san, uh, but uh, there was it was not available. Uh, we have not uh, left a record of uh, uh, going off the air. Uh, this is something that uh, I will explain later. For 2016, in data, uh, I talked about the data, uh, the basic act of advancing and utilizing open data. And that is when uh, we uh, tackled uh, open data for the first time. The government uh, is run by government, by taxes. So uh, there should be transparency provided uh, uh, so that uh, all this information should be made available uh, on the internet uh, within the OECD countries that uh, we were ranking at the lowest level. Uh, the absence of visibility means 
uh, that uh, researchers uh, are, will be uh, dissatisfied because uh, it is not a paper based anymore. Uh, it is all based on data. And in terms of the East Asia studies, uh, Japan uh, was uh, ignored. Uh, therefore, uh, improvement uh, was necessary uh, in uh, terms of uh, open data. Government uh, tried uh, this uh, with effort, uh, and it took about three years uh, uh, before all prefectures were able to support this. Uh, it's all optical, and uh, we. It's very difficult uh, to have all the the uh, prefectural uh, municipal governments that follow uh, the direction of the central government. Uh, but uh, now, uh, currently, uh, we have made a mistake in terms of uh, the wiring aspect. And uh, this is 100% uh, digital TV. It has become digital TV, 100%. Uh, and uh, uh, it became the, the conventional became off the air. So TV had to be uh, repurchased. I don't know if you remember. Echo Point uh, system uh, was uh, uh, introduced. And uh, ultimately, uh, there were people helping uh, support uh, was provided. Uh, so all the stakeholders uh, worked together. And on the 24th of uh, uh, July, uh, in the run up, uh, uh, people um, Cooperated. There is no uh, cathode tube uh, TV anymore. Everything is uh, thin TV. So it was a major transition that was made. And with this kind of thinking, I'm sure uh, that the uh, payment uh, to be made on the following day, like in New York, uh, could have been enabled. So what is important uh, are various factors and uh, uh, remaining the uh, the remaining time will be spent on that. First and foremost, we cannot leave anyone behind. That's very important. Uh, why was why weren't we able to do this? Uh, there were some people who were not able to use, and there were some industries, some people who were placed in very unfortunate situations. It might be difficult to save everyone, but uh, this is no reason why we should not try. So, digitalization. Uh, should be promoted uh, without uh, any excuses. But we don't want to leave anyone behind. That means that uh, people in need of help uh, should receive uh, support. Uh, in terms of uh, terrestrial uh, broadcasting, it was the same. Ultimately, uh, the regional uh, people, community, um, provided help uh, in terms of setting up the right antenna uh, so that uh, uh, they can be supported. Uh, there has to be a safety net uh, provided. So we should set a deadline and make sure to do things in time. And uh, uh, government is not good at this. But I think it can be done. With the, um, with the advent of uh, COVID-19, I think we've learned lessons. But to, to clarify this further uh, is what we have to do. And it has to involve all the stakeholders. Uh, I talked about uh, the transition to digital uh, broadcasting. It's the same. Uh, we have to work together, set a deadline, and help people in need. Uh, we need the support group. And uh, I think training is required for these people. Uh, university students all over, the world, all over Japan, or as well as uh, uh, high school students uh, can be satisfied for this, and they can receive training. And uh, this means that uh, uh, we will have uh, enabled uh, resources, human resources. It will be better for the community, and uh, the educational level of the, the regional areas uh, will be enhanced. This is also very good as well. Now, uh, perhaps, uh, uh, well, this is my dream. Uh, but I believe that uh, internet uh, should be enabled in all evacuation centers, all shelters. Uh, typically, the schools as well as uh, uh, gymnasiums. Uh, when you connect uh, uh, schools uh, with the internet, we have to also uh, connect the gymnasiums of the schools as well. We have to then uh, connect all the evacuation centers, shelters. Ministry of uh, Education. Uh, if they're involved, uh, it uh, could be uh, placed in silos. But uh, 
evacuation uh, centers, shelters uh, uh, are currently do not have uh, uh, internet, but internet is a lifeline. Uh, therefore, it has to be perfected. And I think it uh, can be done. And I want to see more uh, regional universities uh, um, communicate uh, globally, provide content. Uh, this is uh, will require broadcasting uh, specialists as well. Broadcasting uh, in the regional areas and the universities should work together and uh, outstanding uh, university uh, content and the wisdom of uh, the teachers there uh, should uh, be uh, provided uh, uh, globally as uh, outstanding content. And I'm sure that more people will be interested in Japan. Uh, they will want to come to Japan. There will be heightened interest about certain university teachers as well as uh, schools uh, in, uh, in Japan. So there will be uh, decentralization. MID has uh, 150 uh, broadcasting staff. And this is where MOOC uh, was uh, uh, generated. Harvard and MIT's uh, uh, teaching uh, was communicated uh, globally. And I think all universities in Japan should do this. And then we will have uh, the uh, primary school, junior high school, high school universities are becoming stronger. So this is my really personal dream. You may not have to take that seriously, but at this point in time, we still have COVID-19. We experienced this pandemic, but we have this internet digital society developing for the past, for the coming 10 years, 20 years, 30, 50 years. So this is my observation of the future of the internet. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Brian.